Number 129 in your classwork for quadratic functions asks you to uh, perform a transformation uh, given this m function uh, based off of f of x equals x squared. So we have this um, x minus 3 that we're plugging in for x in our original f function. So f of x minus 3 becomes uh, replacing all x's with x minus 3. That's x minus 3 squared. Then plugging this for f of x minus 3, we get m of x equals negative 2 thirds times x minus 3 squared plus 3. So comparing this to our original uh, x squared function, we have uh, three transformations. We have a horizontal shift. We have a vertical shift. And we have a scaling factor. So our scaling factor is negative two-thirds. Our vertical shift is our k value, so that's plus three. So we move up three units, and we have a horizontal shift also of three units to the right. Uh, so that's plus three. <coughs> now we can sketch this. So we have uh, our vertex at three, three. So right here, and it's uh, scaled by two thirds and opens downwards because of this negative. So our graph would look something like this. Uh, I'm not drawing it very exactly, but you get the point. Uh, our domain <coughs> extends from negative infinity to infinity. Our range is from, since it opens downwards, so we go from negative infinity all the way to the vertex, which is our maximum point, uh, which is three. Uh, we, we have a maximum point, that is the vertex, which is three, three. Uh, we have x-intercepts, so that is when y equals zero. So we set m of x equal to zero. So we have negative two thirds, uh, x minus three squared plus three. Moving that the other side, 2 thirds times x minus 3 squared equals 3 uh, times 3 halves times 3 halves. So we have x minus 3 squared equals 9 over 2. Taking the square of both sides, we have x minus 3 equals plus or minus 3 over square root of 2. Then x equals uh, 3 plus or minus <coughs> uh rationalizing this, multiplying by square root of 2 over square root of 2. So we have 3 square root of 2 over 2. So this gives us our uh, x-intercepts. So we have, um, we can combine this even further, so that 3 becomes uh, 6 over 2. So uh, we have one x-intercept at uh, 6 plus uh, 3 square root of 2 over 2, 0 and another x-intercept at uh, 6 ne ne minus 3 square root of 2 over 2, 0. We have a y-intercept at, uh, let's see, that is when x equals 0. So plugging x equals 0 into the equation, so m of 0 equals negative 3 halves times 0 minus 3 squared plus 3. Uh, that gives us negative two, negative two thirds times uh, nine plus three, which is negative six plus three, which is negative three. So our y-intercept is at zero, negative three. <coughs> our function is increasing from uh, negative infinity to the, our vertex. So from uh, let's bring it over here from negative infinity to the vertex at three, uh, decreasing uh, at uh, three to infinity. Now, we're looking at uh, odd, even, or neither. So we have, uh, are we looking, okay, we're looking for any symmetry across the y-axis. <coughs> and uh, clearly, if we see, if we reflect this, we wouldn't get the same image. So it is not even. Uh, now, if you rotate this 180 degrees about the origin, uh, we would get a parabola uh, over here that opens this way. 
Uh, of course, not the same image, so it is not odd. So this function is neither. And our end behavior, if we look at uh, going to the left and to the right, uh, our end behavior is negative, uh, reaching towards negative infinity. So we are uh, decreasing to the left and right.